Hello. Our names are Daniel Giggy and Maya McInerney, and we are Fuzzy Logic. For this project, we created a GIS model to assess riparian ecosystem health across the coastal watersheds of Marin County. We were interested in riparian ecosystem health in this area because such ecosystems are valuable but quite fragile. Riparian ecosystems provide numerous services, including, but not limited to, provision of fresh water and increased soil nutrients, regulation of water temperature and local climate, erosion control, flood control, pollination, nursery functions for aquatic organisms, habitat protection, increased biodiversity, and recreation opportunities. For these ecosystems to be productive, they must be resilient to both anthropogenic and naturally occurring disturbances. They are therefore of special interest to restoration ecologists who hope to improve their resilience. Coastal riparian zones in Marin are the focus of this particular project because they are home to many threatened or endangered species, but also may not receive as much attention or funding as similar ecosystems in watersheds connected to San Francisco Bay. The process for evaluating riparian ecosystem health involves evaluation of vegetation, hydrology, and geomorphology. Because the streams in coastal Marin County are sources of potable water and support native species, the Forest Stewardship Council defines the boundary of a normal riparian zone as a distance of 200 feet from each bank. We judge this to be a useful delineation and have applied a similar buffer to our map of streams and rivers in coastal watersheds. This project began with two questions. Where are healthy and impaired riparian ecosystems in coastal Marin County watersheds, and how are they changing over time? Our objective was to create a map of the riparian ecosystems within the study area showing overall riparian health according to three specific parameters, so that restoration ecologists and planners in Marin County could focus on the most degraded watersheds and those that have a historic decline in overall riparian health. To begin, Shapefiles made available by Marin Map were compiled to form a base map of rivers and watersheds in Marin County. The 200 foot buffer was applied to the river shapefile, which was then clipped to selected coastal watersheds. Next, we needed to produce raster imagery for our three metrics, soil K factor, or erodibility, percent canopy cover, and dominant vegetation type. We considered low K factor, high canopy cover, and vegetation dominated by trees or shrubs to be indicators of good overall riparian health, and assign to them low raster values. Higher erodibility, sparser cover, diminished tree and shrub strata vegetation, and presence of agriculture or permanent human development were considered indicators of greater riparian fragility, and assigned high raster values. Raster data for canopy cover and vegetation type were made readily available from landfire.gov. Soil data was downloaded from the USGS Web Soil Survey. K factors were assigned to soils in a table joined to the shapefile, and the shapefile was converted to a raster data set for further use. This was done for each of five specific intervals between 2001 and 2014 for which data was available. For each year interval, these raster data sets were extracted by MASC to our coastal riparian zone buffer layer. We used a raster calculator to sum the values of all three metrics. Then we correlated these values for riparian health with the corresponding watersheds using the zonal statistics to table tool. We used the mean of the total raster values within each watershed to represent overall average riparian health for each interval. We found that riparian health, measured according to our methods, varied widely throughout the 22 watersheds within our study area. The watersheds along the western banks of Tomales Bay were consistently in excellent condition throughout the time frame of this study. The coastal watersheds of northern Marin County and some in the southern reaches of the study area were consistently in very poor condition, making them potential candidates for restoration projects. We noticed that in many of the watersheds, overall health did not significantly change over the time frame of the study. The Point Reyes watershed, which shifted back and forth between poor and moderate condition, represented one notable exception. 
future iterations of this model if used to signify and identify unhealthy riparian ecosystems as potential candidates for restoration projects might include additional data to render a more accurate depiction of overall ecosystem health. Suggested data for possible future projects include connectivity to a floodplain, water quality and flow data, sinuosity of the stream channel, and stream roughness, as well as spatial data on native and non-native vegetation. We would like to thank David Saw, Megan Danielson, and Fernanda Lopez Ornelas for their help and guidance throughout this project. This map was created as a requirement for the Intermediate GIS course at USF.